TBMS stands for Database Management System. It's a software system which helps in managing incoming data, organizing it and providing certain ways for the data to be modified or extracted by the users or other programs. Relational databases are made up of relations commonly known as tables because the relationship exists between these set of tables. For example, we have a database called city and it has some set of tables here. Each table has some columns here login. I'm showing login table. It has a unique name. Each column has an associated data type. Columns are sometimes called as fields or attributes. Now rows. Each row in the table represents different employees in this case. Rows are also called as records or tuples. Now each row has certain values. Every value must have the same data type as specified by its column. Here name has var char, phone number is integer type, etc. Key to identify each person or thing uniquely in a table that is each row uniquely, we need some unique value. Schema, complete set of table design for a database. It's, it's like a blueprint for the database. A schema should show tables along with their columns and some data if possible. And its primary key of each table and foreign key etc. Usually primary keys are underlined and foreign keys are italicized. There comes some problem called anomalies. anomalies. If you don't do the normalization process properly, that is division of data into different data table sets. We will explain that in coming tutorials in detail with examples. For now, let's see about anomalies. Think we have some online store and somebody is ordering it. A person called Satish orders one item. Second time when he orders, he is moved to different place. Th this is insertion anomaly. If we try to edit the address at one place, there is inconsistent data, so that is modification anomaly. If we once the order is delivered, we delete the data and the address is no more present, that is deletion anomaly. To solve that, we have primary and foreign key. We store name and address and in one place and use a primary key called username, for example, and and in we refer to this column in all other table and solving the problem. This is called normalization and there are certain things like one to one relationship, one to many relationship and many to many relationship. Well, that would get complicated for now. So we will describe, explain each one of this in coming video tutorials with some real time examples. So hope you understood what is some of the basics of database management system that is each database has certain number of tables and each table most of the time each tables have some relationship between them and most of the time every table has a unique key that is primary key to identify each row uniquely which helps in normalization process in most of the cases and if we don't do normalization properly, that is, we don't have that skill, that art of dividing the data into different tables, we face anomalies, that is insertion anomaly, modification anomaly, and deletion anomaly. So for now, just know these things, database, tables, columns, rows, values, keys, foreign key, and primary key and these anomalies these are some of the basics to get started and for these definitions and other detailed notes about all these terms please visit the link present in the description section of this youtube video please share this video with your friends on facebook google plus twitter linkedin etc and please make sure to like this video on youtube also, please subscribe to our website, technotip.com, technotip.com. Thank you.